<laughs> Welcome back. We're so happy to have in studio today an eight hero. Well, her visit is very timely since October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Kara Scaffoldstad is in cancer. She's a cancer survivor providing hope and a confidence boost to other women, really. She's the founder of what she calls Fighting Pretty, thus the pink gloves. And she is here with us, Fighting Pretty for Cancer. And Kara, to be honest, we met a couple years ago. I couldn't say your last name then, so say it correctly <laughs> for me now. Scaffoldstad. <laughs> Scaffoldstad, and I'm so excited to have you meet Mackenzie this morning so and catch up you. with you. And you're glowing. And please, what is Fighting Pretty? Please tell us. Fighting Pretty is a nonprofit organization that I started after my own battle with breast cancer. Um, and it really is a mission to help all women battling cancer feel strong and beautiful. So we send pretty packages, their care packages, full of beauty and inspirational items. And of course we have our little mini pink boxing gloves as a symbol of strength and hope. I love that. Yeah. And the items are simple ones, but something that can really make a difference in a day, a brighter lipstick, a pretty scarf. Mm -hmm. Where do you come by the items? Yeah, so we try to get donations from, you know, corporations. Um, we've also worked with local, you know, cosmetic companies as well. Um, we've worked with Revlon, L'Oreal, the big ones, you know, too. So we purchase some items. We do get some donated. So we're always looking for, you know, additional corporations to, to donate products for our pretty packages. Um, and how do you decide who to deliver them to? Yeah, so we there's a couple different ways that we go about it. Typically, a friend or family member would ask or send a pretty package via our website, fightingpretty.org. Um, we ask for a $30 donation to help cover the cost of the materials that we do purchase to put in the boxes. Um, we've also started working with hospitals like OHSU, where Wonderful. we are providing you know, the pretty packages directly to the patients. Um, so it's been, you know, it's been growing since the last time that we've spoken three years ago. But we really, you know, get these individual requests from people all around the world to really give these pretty packages to their friends or loved ones. And Karen, when you first got your diagnosis, what's something you wish you knew then that you know now when you were about to take on your battle? You know, that's a really good and hard question. I think looking back on it, it's easy to say, you know, there is light at the end of the tunnel and when you come out of it, you're gonna feel stronger and more beautiful than you ever did before. I think going through that, if someone would have said that to me, I would have thought they were crazy. Um, you know, but that is really a message that if you can try to control how you feel about your cancer diagnosis, that will actually make the journey a little bit easier. Just know that this is temporary and that you have to keep on fighting and try to be as positive, you know, as you possibly can and kind of embrace the fact that you're going through this horrible journey, you know, but fight as hard as you can you know, to get through it. This um, whole mission of yours was such a natural because, correct me if I'm wrong, you have a background in fashion. Marketing. Marketing, okay. <laughs> But I do love fashion. Right. Uh -huh. I lived in New York City for about 10 years, bought shoes I couldn't afford and clothes I couldn't afford. Um, and so, you know, helping women to feel strong and beautiful was always something that I did gravitate towards. I love clothes, I love makeup. Um, it's really fun and to be able to help other women feel that way during the hardest time of their life, you know, is really a privilege. It's amazing. What's your hope for Fighting Pretty in the future? The hope is to continue to send these pretty packages. I mean, we've only sent 5,000 in the last... Only? Well, <laughs> in the last, you know, four years, we hope to send about 10,000 in the next two years. Um, there is one in eight women getting diagnosed with breast cancer, you know, every day. And so the hope, you know, that there's a lot of women out there that could really use this extra you know, strength and hope and love and beauty and to be reminded that they're strong and beautiful and amazing. So we have a long way to go. I think it's a wonderful answer to the question, what can I possibly do for my friend? Yeah. And what a surprise to yeah. show up on the doorstep and exactly. have this kind of explosion of beauty. Exactly. And that's the best thing when they get this bright pink box that arrives at their door and it says, hello, beautiful on it. We've received so many thank you notes that, you know, it just comes at the right time, either, whether they just got diagnosed or they just finished a cancer treatment. You know, I get these thank you notes that these women, you know, just love this pink box and those boxing gloves and, and all the little items inside. So what's the best way to order a box or get in touch with you? Yeah, the best way is to go to our website, fightingpretty.org. There's, you know, a link on there, send a pretty package. So you can go right on there, fill out the information for your friend or loved one. And then you can get in touch with us too. We have a contact us 
um, a form on there too. So we're right. always looking for incredible. ideas. So yeah. inspiring. Karen. Well, you Thank keep you. in touch and you come back when you hit 10,000. Thank yes. you. Which is we'll probably going to be sooner than I think. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds Karen. good. Thank you.